Hi, I'm Rick Barrett. Today I'd like to talk to you about elbow gin. Uh, elbow gin is called Zhou in Taiji Chuan, Z H O U. It's one of the eight Ba Men, which are the energy gates or the signature essential energies of Tai Chi. And of the eight, it, I think it's the most mysterious, the most woo woo. And that's because it doesn't really have its own um, manifestation so much as it makes everything else much more powerful. So, um, what it does is it can make just about any posture into a power posture. And um, Anna Cuddy, a Harvard professor, did a wonderful TED talk on, on power postures and how it actually physically transforms your body mind. It changes your endocrine system. Just two minutes of standing in a power posture, you, the, you can actually see a, a, a dramatic shift in the cortisol levels. The cortisol levels drop and testosterone rises as uh, just by standing for two minutes in, in a power posture like that. And uh, the one that she emphasizes is the iconic Superman posture, which is hands on the hips, elbows out, standing tall and proud and erect. And what she says is that by doing that, you create presence, you uh, self-confidence, um, a an alertness and a, uh, a sense of power. Anyway, the uh, the elbow gin is a way that we as Taiji practitioners can actually bring it into every aspect of our lives, and particularly into a Taiji form or any other martial arts form. And that's it. It's a, a doorway in that creates an expansion. One thing that's characteristic of the power postures is they're expansive. So you can see just if I'm standing in a collapsed posture, I'm still standing upright and, and erect, but, but notice that the energy is collapsed. And all I, if I just bring the elbows out, just reach out a little bit and feel the elbows, it changes my appearance something dramatically shifts whenever I just make that little adjustment. So when we're bringing it into the Taiji process, let's uh, take a look at it from the uh, ward off posture. So here we have Pong Jin. That's the energy of ward off posture. And the way I would, I did it for decades was to just kind of like get very relaxed and something like that all right and it was a relaxed posture but it was not uh, robust it was a collapsed posture so what I do now is I activate the Jojin or the elbow gin so even before I begin the movements I feel into my elbows and I notice an immediate change my whole body becomes integrated and very full of energy. I can feel the chi in my hands immediately. So then, if I go into my ward off posture now, instead of just going like this, I set my elbows and turn like this. So notice there's a more rounded shape in the arms. And I'm also opening the joints. I'm reaching with my elbows. So I'm creating space in my, my shoulder joints and allows the, the chi to unkink the hose there. It, the chi is flowing much more, more easily now. And whenever I'm going to activate this, instead of just bringing the whole arm up as a, as a, a, as a unit, I set the elbow first and then lift the hand as I turn. Okay, so then you get, this has now full of Pong Jin. There's a sense of, 
a fullness of uh, uh, there, there is a lot of, of soft power in that. If I'm going to ward off with the right hand, I feel the elbow. I don't just drop the elbow, I reach out with the elbow and come around like this, right? So the elbows are still extending, st I'm still feeling into them, and this posture has a lot of power also, even though it's, it's still just a preparation for what's coming next. I sink into my right claw. I set the right elbow and then come around and I have ward off with the right hand. And that continues throughout the whole form. Every move, set the elbow first. If I'm doing a uh, white crane, you know, set the elbow and then bring the hand up, boom. Instead of bringing the whole, instead of moving everything from the shoulder, because that will actually create muscle tension and create a kink in the hose. Well, I hope this is helpful. Thank you very much. The, uh, I write more about this in a three-part series on elbow gin on my blog, which is at www.rickbarrett.net. Uh, please check that out, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please press like, and I uh, hope to see you again soon.